This awesome episode of the Metal Man TV has been made possible by Camp Studio Open Source, free streaming video software. Hey guys, what is going on? I am Mark Maia, aka the Metal Man 1112 from the Metal Man TV, and today I'm bringing you my very first tutorial in Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. Man, that's always a mouthful to say. <laughs> anyway, so today I'm going to be going into a technique that a lot of people have been wondering exactly how you do, and it's something that I've incorporated in my videos for the past two years with Sony Vegas. It is how to create transparent text using a picture, a video, and or a color gradient. So without further ado, let's jump right to it. Unlike anything you have ever seen. Alrighty then, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is background media. That includes any pictures, any videos, or any color gradients you create in Sony Vegas or drag into Sony Vegas that will act as the background for your transparent text. Now, as you guys can see, uh, or maybe you can't, <laughs> I have this futuristic wallpaper thing I downloaded off the net somewhere. I don't know. It's because it's, it's freaking awesome, and it's going to be a great you know, demonstration for this. So if you have your media already set up in here and you have it in the project media folder, just drag it into the timeline, and it will create a new video track. I'm going to go ahead and label this background because I'm so original. Anyway, so now if, if you drag your media and you see borders, black borders anywhere, and you're like, wait, whoa, that did not come with my media. What's going on? It's because it's not in the right aspect ratio, meaning that if you, if you don't want the black borders there because you're creating an HD video per se like I am, you want those bars to disappear, not to fret. There is an option just for that. If you go into your you know media thing you're going to notice two buttons here and the first one on the top looks like two squares or like you know like a little square thing whatever event pan crop hit that and it'll bring this little window up and one of the default if you hit the drop down menu one of the defaults is 16 by 9 widescreen tv aspect ratio which will enable that ratio to your media and get your black bars all disappeared and now everybody's a happy camper so we're going to go ahead and right click this part and insert a new video track or you can hit control shift Q which is the shortcut to do that in Sony Vegas and I'm going to label this text. Shocking. So when you go into your video timeline here you right click and it has insert text media. Hit that and your text window now comes up. Now I'm going to unbold this and scale back on the view a little bit so I can see what I'm typing here. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, if you hold the control button and scroll back on the wheel or scroll forward, you'll notice that the text in the little preview box um, zooms in, zooms out. So I'm going to type in the Metal Man TV because I'm, of course, so original and change this into my favorite font, size this up a bit. And now we're good to go. So once you got your text all set up, go ahead into properties. And that's where we see text color and background color, which is the two main things we're going to be working with um, for transparency. Now the text color right now has the alpha level set to 100%. That means that that text color, whatever you set this text color to, me it means that that is completely opaque. You will never be able to see through it as long as that value remains at 100%, which is why you can't see through it right now. If you drag that value all the way down to zero, you'll see that the text eventually just disappears. And don't freak out. It's just because the background color uh, alpha level has been set by default to zero because you're gonna you want to overlayer you know media. But if you hit that all the way back up to 100, the background now changes to black, and only the media the media will only show through those you know transparent parts of your text. Pretty neat. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, wait, whoa, hold on a second. I just wanted transparent text. I didn't want all this back. No, stop. It's ugly. Um, just go ahead and drag that alpha. I'm assuming that's what you're thinking, by the way. Uh, go ahead and drag that alpha level right back down to zero. You'll be fine. Um, and go ahead into effects. This is where we work with the outline. Outline basically draws a bold you know, outline around your text, You know, self-explanatory. And that's happens, and, and and that's cool. You know, you can t change this to whatever you want. 
uh, whatever color. I'm going to change it into a little blue because it, you know, matches the vibe of the, the media I have. I'm going to feather this a little bit more so it kind of looks a little, you know, nice. And I'm going to add some shadow. Shadow is the bomb. It's so awesome. It's a great way to sell your text and it's a great way to make, you know, text look like it's part of your media um, when you're doing video editing and all that jazz. So now you can clearly see that the Metal Man TV has been outlined with this transparent text and it's really, really cool. But if you're somebody like me and I really don't like that, but I don't want to have it a completely, you know, opaque background like black because I have the shadow at black. I can just move the alpha and kind of set it like halfway sort of like to mellow out the, the background and just kind of like stand out like that. And that, uh, that alone, whoops, let's change this to preview to full. And that alone looks cool. I mean, that just that looks awesome. So that's one way to do it with with photos, if or pictures. If you want to do it with a video, it works exactly the same way. All you need to do is just change the properties of your text to your whim or your liking or your fancy or whatever word you prefer to use. So now that this is done, I'm going ahead and delete this. Uh, thing and just kind of keep it there and now I'm going to show you how to create a color gradient if you hit the media generators tab it's gonna take you right to here and you hit color gradient and it's gonna give you this list of stuff that just comes with Sony Vegas um, when you install the program all these you know default gradients uh, there's some cool ones you know elliptical transparent to black from black to transparent it creates like this night vignette effects um, there's like a nice shading effects I mean it's really really cool and this fancy wooden board I mean this is a gradient this is it's amazing what you can do with this but I've created my own little preset for the sake of this tutorial called futuristic white to blue now I'm gonna drag that in the place of the background and the media and this little window pops up and this window will uh, help me create my color gradient now um, you're gonna see that the color gradient changes if you drag any of these buttons to your liking you'll see on the preview window um, that it changes uh, in the direction that you want there are three types of gradients linear elliptical and rectangular I have never really used elliptical or rectangular just because I don't really like the way they look um, but again my prerogative that's something I like to do it's totally up to you it's preference to the user so go ahead and drag you know to your liking the colors if you want to change the colors just click the button and drag a different color and there you go that'll change your gradient right there and if you want to add a different point if you want to add a multiple points um, you can just hit the add a new gradient control point button which is the plus sign on the bottom left and it'll create a third point and if you drag that third point to wherever you want and change the color you'll see that now uh, it is being dragged to my liking and it works the uh, a very simple the gradient works a simple way um, the closer the numbers are together the harsher the gradient change is so the farther out these numbers are the more you know the smoother so to speak the the blend is to the gradient and uh, of course that's preference to you guys um, I like to do what I like to do I usually do it with just pictures I don't like working with gradients just because uh, you know I have media and I like you know interacting with my media so that's just a technique I, I use it's kind of like cheating you could say uh, because you can create transparent text with with um, image editing programs like paint.net and Adobe Photoshop and GIMP and and all those kind of programs and you can basically like bold or outline text and just over a transparent background and and that's that's pretty much it but uh, I just showed you how to do it in Sony Vegas and that is pretty much it guys there is nothing more to it it's just of course preference and whatever you guys are doing if you want to interact that much with your media do it it looks cool it looks awesome and it's a great uh, great little trick in Sony Vegas. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching tutorial number one in Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. Man, I am so excited to do the second tutorial, which I'm going to show you guys how to animate backgrounds, um, media uh, using keyframes, and that's going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. So that's pretty much it. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, share with all your friends on Facebook, and even tell your mother. And I, of course, am Mark Maya, a.k.a. The Metal Man 1112, and I am signing out. I'll see you guys next time. Hell nah. But he could probably smell better than me if he used Old Spice, classic deal. Get up. Now look down. Look up. Left, right.